Hey everyone, Andang here for more of Mordor. When we last left off, we were going to Minas Tirith to look for a book about the Great Plague, and I think we've just found it. This musty tome provides a dry account of the Great Plague that ravaged Gondor beginning in the year 1636 of the Third Age. The forgotten scholar that wrote these pages noted that the plague arose somewhere in the east, and many of the folk that were consumed by the disease before it spread to the northern of Rovanion. The account spends slightly longer detailing the effects of the Great Plague on the rule of Gondor, including the deaths of King Telamonar and all of his children, and the abandonment of Osgiliath for lack of men healthy enough to man its defenses. The author of these pages mentions in the passing of the watches at Minas Ithil, the Moranan Ostinathir and Durthand were severely undermanned as a result of the disease. And you cannot help but wonder if he foresaw the problems that would cause in future days. The account further notes the discovery that the leaves of the Athalas plant were found to have a beneficial effect upon the progression of the plague, and that the disease finally ran its course in Gondor by the year 1637. So it was just a year-long plague, basically, but it was devastating. You learn that the Anthalus was helpful for treating some of the victims of the Great Plague. The way it was written in the book made it sound like that, oh yes, it's helpful for the disease, as in, like, spreading it. it it's good for it. It, it sounded weird. Alright, let's see. We now need to find a scholar with king's foil, so let's go find them. Okay, did they really have to bring a stone troll in here? Like, I know they're all about, like, getting everything in here, but I, I feel like the stone troll's a little bit much. Here we go. King's foil? Yes, I have some right here. Andeng, it is good to see you again, safe and sound. Did you tire of danger already? Well... What is it that brings you to the Houses of Lore? I am ready and available to help you with whatever you might need. King's foil? Yes, I do have some here. It is very useful for treating headaches and other minor maladies. Has prolonged exposure to the foul air of Gorgoroth been giving you headaches? I'm sorry to hear that, but perhaps this will help. Corvell gives you a small packet of King's Foil and a smile as you revel in your lie that you gave to her that you have a headache. Okay, man, the Houses of Lore is pretty awesome. I mean, look at stuff like that that's much more artistic. Like, they went from, you know, stuff like that to much more just realistic type statues. Not as cool in my opinion. Oh man, you you had a wardrobe change. All right, rise in the wily. I have never seen this city from the inside before. It is, it is quite a sight, Andeng. I believed that Sauron's armies were so near to victory, but now I am not certain. The city appears much stronger from up here. Horizon stands silently gazing out over Minas Tirith. When he speaks again, his voice is low and quiet. I fought on the field down there. It is hard to tell, but I think I can see where my sworn men joined the battle. I slew many men myself, wielding swords, wielding axes. That is the way of war. If it was not to be their blood, it would have been mine. Eventually, things began to go wrong. Some of my sworn men were themselves slain. Others turned and ran. I ran with them. Later we formed up again. Word came down that some of the leaders were dead. The Lord of the Nazgul. Maybe others. And I thought to myself, why should I die as well? I thought to take my men and go home, leave the war behind, but I received new orders. I was to set an ambush for the forces that had started to march 
in the direction of Mordor. I left that task for the orcs. I tried to lead my men home, and I was betrayed on the road. It was Ortakul who betrayed me, the treacherous dog. He was rewarded with my command, and I was brought to a doom there to rot. Horizon clinches his fist. The captain of the pit, a Grukor, did not plan to keep me there for long. He planned to send me to Argonith. Durthang was a nightmare, but it would be a pleasant daydream compared to that. Sweet Lara is there, and Eng. She is still there. And she is working on something behind the walls of Sevagost. If you had not opened my cell, I would have been sent to Sevagost. And death could not come quickly enough for Horizon, the unlucky. Once sweet Laura got her claws in me. Once she made me drink her concoctions, her vile poisons. I do not think I would be a Ryzen anymore. So I... I thank you for freeing me, Andang. If for nothing else. Now that is done. And we will speak of it no more. A Ryzen shakes his head abruptly. And laughs. Perhaps I was wrong. This city is not so strong after all. Do you see the cracks there and there? Another hour or two and Sauron would have had it quite in hand. You are lucky that his commanders were not as capable as I. Arise in the strategic. You are lucky indeed in this, Sandeg. So very lucky. Right. Let's go to Mithrandir. I know I'm using five Mithril there, but we gotta get back. Lyrith has returned. I hoped it was not so, but it is no longer safe to doubt. Lyrith the Stained has come to Mordor, and she has taken the fortress of Saragost for her own. For all of his bluster, I can see no reason for Ryzen to lie to you about this. More than a thousand years ago, Lyrith created the Great Plague in service of Sauron. It was tested in the lands of the east, and then it was unleashed upon Gondor. But it was not yet perfected. The plague, while deadly, could be treated with Athelis. King's Foil slowed its progress, and aided with the defeat of the disease. Now Lyrith has returned, and she is trying to finish her master work. Within the fortress of Sevagost, she seeks to create a strain of the plague that cannot be cured with Athelus. She seeks to perfect the Great Plague. We need to learn how near Lyrith has come to her goal. Your descriptions of Argonith tell me that Lyrith's experiments have had an adverse effect upon her land. It may be that her study of the plants and creatures within it who shed light upon her progress, Sandeng. We need to learn how near Lyrith has gotten to achieving her goal. Return to Argonith, and take samples of material from the animals, plants, and water of that land. You should retain the king's foil, combine it with the samples, and see if there is any effect. We need not be overly concerned until the king's foil ceases to affect the disease. But by then, it may be too late. Sixty samples should be enough. Sixty? All right. You know Hartholin. She intended to venture to Argonith. Look for her in the swamp, and I am certain she will aid you in this. All right, the next great plague. That sounds awful. Oh, man, and now we have to go all the way back, but luckily, we can just port back to Mordor. All right, let's talk. This land is foul, but we must watch it carefully. This place is foul, and I would rather be anywhere else. 
but that is precisely why we need to watch this land. Mithrandir believes that the bloody gore will be the birthplace of the next great plague. If such a disease is to spring and forth anew, it will be from here, Van Deng. I mean, look around you. Mithrandir wants us to collect samples of flesh and stem and water from Argonath. How very unpleasant. I will aid you in this. We can each collect half of what Mithrandir wanted, and then we will meet back here. Alright, well, thankfully she's getting half of them, because, man, that would be just miserable to have to do all this by ourselves. Looks like here's our first sample attacking us there. There we go. Okay, there's all the water samples. Luckily it's not been that bad collecting all these samples here. I probably wouldn't even mind doing the 60. Although, uh, I'm, I'm, I might have, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to tell, but luckily everything's been all together and like nicely uh, packed. It's probably one of the best collection quests that I've seen in a while in Lotro, uh, where it's just all nice and together. And you don't have to go very far, and pretty much every single animal here is counting towards the uh, animal quest. So that's a big plus as well, and so it's going much, much faster than I expected it to. Because normally you have to go like all over the zone, and you know, look everywhere under the sun which isn't even out right now, and uh, try to find everything you can. But uh, luckily this time, it's it's going much faster. There we go, there's all the samples. Like I said, that just went super quick. And now we can go back and talk to the elf. Just before you returned, I saw movement in the brush over there. There you are, Andeng. Did you collect your samples? I have mine right here. But I need to tell you something. Just before you returned, I saw movement in the brush over there. I recognized the shape of an orc, and had pulled my bowstring taut before it could react. It's lying over there, in the water to the northeast. Go see if it lives. So I have to go check your kill for you? Alright. Fine. What an elf thing to ask me to do. The orc is dead. You remove a parchment from its hand. Okay, let's see what this parchment says. Lyrith, I have entrusted this response to the Gash High. You are welcome to keep the barrier for your own purposes. If you should find him useful... Let that soothe the sting of my master's refusal to heed your call. Severgost is not a suitable location. Perhaps Nargroth would be a more fitting site for the masters of Mordor to meet. Dolgist, on behalf of Barangos, Lord of the Gash High, and the Flame. Alright, they're still wanting to meet up, it looks like. What did you find? The orc carried a message. Hythalyn takes the crumpled parchment from you, and quickly reads the message. I do not like the sound of this, Andeng. A meeting of the Masters of Mordor can signal nothing but trouble, and an ill omen for us. I will test the samples with Arthalos, but you must complete a different task. I will retain the samples we obtained from the swamp, and test them with the Athalas given to you by Mithrandir. And I will give to you another task. We need information, Andang. The creature that gave this message to the Gash High I slew was named Dolgrist, and the words were on behalf of Barangos, of whom we have learned little. I propose that Lyrith has requested the Masters of Mordor to attend her in Savagost, and they have sent their response to her in the hands of runners such as the one I killed. Other responses may be on their way to her, and we must learn of their disposition. Defeat orcs and evil men, 
of every variety near the following sites, and you may intercept communications intended for Lyrith. I suggest the Spire of Lughash, the settlement of Fushwin Bal, near the Tower of Kirithongol, and the camp outside Nairband. Good hunting to you, Andang. All right, so now we get to go all over Mordor as the start of the fourth chapter to the Black Book of Mordor. But hey, we're getting close to the end of the story here, and I'm excited to see how that ends out. So next time, we'll be going all over Mordor, finding all that stuff. But that is not till next time. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like down below, and I'll see you again real soon for more of Mordor.